Hi, my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm Executive Vice President of Retirement Products at Ash Brokerage. Welcome back to Winning Strategies. So many times the planning process comes to a complete halt when you have a client that becomes uninsurable. Maybe the carrier doesn't want to take the risk of that particular uh, protection sale, or maybe the carrier comes back with an offer that the client just simply can't afford. And I would make an argument that at that point in time, the client really cannot afford not to take that particular offer if they're unhealthy. But a lot of times they fail to take the offer and the client is left uninsured. But that does not mean that the planning process should stop or that there are no other options. Let me talk about a couple options for your non-insurable clients. First of all, from a long-term care perspective, there are many income riders that actually double the income when you have two of the six uh, ADLs. Now, that's certainly not a going to mitigate your entire risk of long-term care. But the reality is, is that long-term care is more of a cash flow problem as opposed to an asset problem. And when you have the opportunity to double your income, it's a great chance to help mitigate some of the cash flow. Second thing is, is that many annuities offer enhanced death benefit riders. As we talked in the previous version of Winning Strategies, tax deferral may be the greatest asset that you have during the accumulation phase, but at times of distribution, and particularly when we're passing it on to the next generation, annuities and IRAs may be the absolute worst asset to have in your estate because of the taxation. With the enhanced death benefits, some of the annuities pay as much as 25% more to help the beneficiaries overcome the cost of the taxation on the annuities. And then finally, Many dollars go to probate costs for non-qualified assets. When you're looking at institutional accounts, even on a qualified basis, many of the beneficiary designations are very limited in how you can plan to pass on those assets to the next generation. Particularly with non-qualified assets, you can name a named beneficiary on all of your non-qualified annuities. And then that way you make sure that the right asset gets to the right person at the right point in time and for as much value as possible. So your winning strategy for this week is to help shift the risk for some of your uninsureds. Look at your client base and look at people who maybe had rated policies and talk to them about how annuities can help mitigate and shift some of that risk away from longevity related issues.